All right. So if you use Windows 8 or 8.1, you probably have figured out that your start menu no longer exists. If you're using Windows 8, you will not even have a start button down here. You just have Internet Explorer butted up against the left side of your screen. If you're using Windows 8.1, you have this nice looking start button that you think is a start button. And it is. Once you click on it, you are then brought to this start screen, as Microsoft has dubbed it. And probably have, at this point, freaked out thinking, what did you get yourself into now? Well, if you click this little arrow right here, you are able to see all your apps, or at least most of your apps. Now, this interface, I like it on a tablet. It is the greatest thing ever created. I have used an iPad, and I have used Windows 8 on a tablet. This, by far, kills the iPad when it comes to interfaces. This is much easier to navigate, much more customizable, and they have live tiles. A plus Microsoft for the interface in that area. But for a desktop, this is the worst interface I have ever seen on a desktop. It is, there is so much wasted space on it, and it is so cumbersome to navigate with a mouse, it's not even funny. I don't even know how the developers thought this would be a good idea. People today are still complaining about the interface. Now, I've been using it on my computer for about half a year now and have been getting used to it. However, I still missed my start menu and have been searching left and right for a replacement program. Well, I finally found one. It's called Classic Shell. Now, most technical, technical users already have known about this program for a long time. I have known for known about it for about three years now. The reason I didn't have it installed is because it was kinda had it was kinda buggy. It had some stability issues and it didn't always work properly. And that was with Windows 8. But 8.1 really has changed that. Um, and I should also mention as well that Microsoft has finally realized the error of their ways and is caving in to the PC market and bringing back the start menu this August. Yes, you heard me right, the start menu is coming back. If you want to wait until this August and get the Microsoft start menu, which in fact is a start menu, I've seen some pictures of it, feel free to just wait it out. Um, if you can't wait that long and you are absolutely crazy about getting a start menu and are completely sick of Windows 8 and 8.1 and all of its crap, then follow this tutorial and we will get you a start menu. So, to begin, click on Internet Explorer, go up to the address bar and type in classicshell.net, not .com. You will then be greeted at their main website here. Click on Download Now to download the application. Click on Run. It's a small little 6.47 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long, even on slower internet connections. Click on Next. Accept the license agreement after you've read it. Then click Next, obviously. Uh, now here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Classic Explorer. Click, click the little black arrow, and then click on the X to make that feature unavailable. And we're going to do that with Classic IE as well. Once those two things have been done, click on Next, and then click on Install. Now you will have a user account control window pop up eventually. Hopefully it won't take too long on here. Oh, come on, come on, let's go. Well, maybe it will take a long time. Didn't take this long on my host PC, but this is a virtual machine, so it's a little slower. There we go. Okay. Then click Yes, and the installation is completing. And that's it. The installation is completed. Now, if you don't want to read all the technical mumbo-jumbo, 
uncheck the box that says view readme file and click finish then go ahead and close out your browser click on your start button and you will be greeted with the classic shell or the settings for classic start menu now you don't really have to change anything in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys to click OK and then click on your start menu again and that's it you now have a start menu with all of your apps programs and whatnot you have on your computer all right at your fingertips now I change a few things in here to make it a little more accessible or at least I'll show you what I use <coughs> excuse me I'll show you what I do to make it a little more kind of like Windows 7 uh, I don't change much but yeah I'll show you what I do so we go to right click on this if you right click on the start button and click settings you can then click on show all settings then go over to main menu scroll down to where it says you cat use categories view for the control panel and then go to customize start menu and display videos as a link scroll down and click on display or click on control panel and display that as a link as well click OK and that's basically the way I have mine set up so you can set yours up the way you want but that's basically have mine set up if you want it to look like Windows 7 you can go to skin or it says skin right here select Windows arrow and that'll kind of give it that Windows 7 arrow effect it's kind of a nice little effect but I still keep the classic one right now the, or not the classic one the Windows 8 style kind of blends better with the whole uh, color scheme and, and effects of Windows 8 makes it look more in tune with it that's basically it um, for this video it's just showing you how to install the uh, or get classic shell installed on your computer to get your start menu back on your computer like I stated earlier Microsoft will be releasing a patch to get the start menu back but some people don't want to wait that long like I said I'm one of them I like the start menu um, but I still do use the start screen periodically not nearly as much on my desktop I love it on my tablet though like I said I've used an iPad and it just makes the start screen look so much better um, than the iPad. The iPad's interface is, is just it, it's too bland for me. I, I really do like the live tiles. Microsoft has a home run right there in my mind with the, uh, with the live tiles and the fact that you can move them around and adjust the size of the tiles. That's really nice too. So that's it for the video. Um, let me know what you think about the video and if I want me to make another one similar to this or want me to review something else, let me know and maybe I will just review it. Alright. Talk to you guys later.